I took my duck to Times Square and I made a video called I took my duck to Times Square. You can check it over on our new channel. I took my duck to at duck and human. Yeah, you're the only living duck in New York. It was quite an adventure to say the least. You know, Times Square used to be a very, very scary place with a bunch of bad, bad kids, just like in Pinocchio, where they'd go and become donkeys. It was just like that until they cleaned it up. Now it's a wonderful capitalistic wonderland where you could go and see familiar faces like Spider-Man and Spider-Man and Elsa and Spider-Man. Just don't look directly at Elmo. If you look directly at Elmo, he'll come and he'll take your money. He will. Oh, you better watch him. You got King Kong and Batman and a Transformer. What's Batman doing to his nipples? Oh yeah, did I mention they've got Spider-Man? They've got every Spider-Man from every Spider-Verse to fill every spider need you could ever spider have. No, 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 no. We don't got money for that. Of course, there's many different attractions that you can check out while you're at Times Square, like the Disney Store, where you can see a full-size Statue of Liberty. It looks like Mickey Mouse because you're at the Disney store, but I assure you it is 100% authentic Statue of Liberty. Then of course we have to head over to check out the mysterious spinning object. It's one of the seven wonders of the world, you know. It's been spinning here in Times Square for over 300 years. Why don't you go and check it out yourself? Scientists haven't figured out if it's dangerous or not, but it sure is beautiful. Now it's off to go see The Lion King on Broadway. You always have to check out a nice Broadway musical. Well, that was fun. Did you enjoy the show, Wrinkle? That was even better than the movie, if you ask me. There sure are a lot of people here. One of the very best things you could do is people watch. So you have to go up to the big red stairs right in the center so you can get a real good view of all the people. Mm-hmm. Can you see them, Wrinkle? Look, they look like a bunch of little candies spilled all over the floor, each one with their own unique flavor. Fist bump. Yum. New friend flavor. Haha. <laughs> you know, in a sea of all these people, some people really stand out. Birds of a feather, you know. Mr. Microwave Head here likes to make people smile. You can check him out. Make the smile. Y'all want to smile? Come see me on Instagram. You know, there's way too much here to do in just one day. But if we have a little bit of time left, I'd say we gotta get ourselves a New York souvenir. Like one of those I Heart New York shirts. You know the ones I'm talking about? That all the locals wear? Of course I had to get one for Wrinkle, and she picked out a nice Statue of Liberty blue one. I think it looks really great on her, and she got lots of compliments on the way home. Look quite the says, am I seeing what I'm seeing here? I know. Very special. It's even got little sleeves there for when her arms grow in. Hooray, Times Square! Hooray, New York! Hooray, adventure! And hooray, wrinkle!